Yeah, you know, I'm going to work on digitalization, Generation Z, and entrepreneurship. Um, my name is Betül Aycha. I'm from Trakya University. It's in Edirne. I live in Istanbul. And this study aims to examine the relationship between digitalization, Generation Z, and entrepreneurship. More specifically, it explores the moderating roles of employee perception of digitalization in organizations and entrepreneurship. Um, also focus on reshaping of the digital culture concepts. And now we are focusing on new digital concepts for organizations. Everything's changing and organizations have to follow these new aspects. Generation Z, digitalization is the evaluation of new values for the strategies, most structures of employment and thinking and behavior in an organization. Our definition is Generation Z uh, born in 2000 and 2020. As you know, Y generation born 1980 to 1999. Turkish popula uh, Turkey's population, 33%. Z generation, and this is the majority. This group will be the most populous and influential generation. Y generation is approximately 32%. Totally almost 65% uh, of Turkish population is uh, Y and Z generation. The characteristics and entrepreneurial, sk entrepreneurial skills of this generation are different from previous ones. Uh, previous ones, we have silent generation. Now it's approximately 2% in Turkey. Baby boomers. Uh, baby boomers was born 1945 to 1965, uh, 64. Also uh, generation X, X 1965 to 1979. And generation Y, 82, 99. And now Z, 2000 uh, and 2020, the last generation, alpha generation, they just born in 2020. Uh, Z generation is marked by their different lifestyles and unique personality traits. Why we need to know what they like, uh, what is their personality. Uh, uh, members of this generation were born in a digital environment and we have to focus this Z generation. They originate from and live in an environment of technological and digital diversity. Generation Z also called, I liked most, I like, like iPhone, iGen. We called iGen, GenTech, GenV, etc. Gen Z calls us, uh, Gen Z constantly functions in a digital technology and internet context and environment in which the world has become smaller and where artificial intelligence is becoming more and more dominant. So uh, the Generation Z contributes to human resources practice in different areas. This is what makes its important population in the field of human resource management, while entrepreneurship seems to appeal to millennials because of the increase in flexible and casual work environment. We saw for Y generation, Y generation uh, wanted to be free and they need to be social life and they needed to have social life. Also, uh, they like free Fridays, part-time jobs, gig workers. So Z is different from them. So in Turkey, we, we were a collectivist community. Now we start to be individual uh, society with Y generation. Z generation is more individual than other generations. So in Turkey, in the village, individualism is coming. This entrepreneurial edge is uh, perceived because job security is very important for Generation Z. One reason the direct entrepreneur route is more attractive to Gen Z is that this generation has tended to forego higher education more than millennials have and go directly into business. However, given the nature of employment in most social and professional contexts today, educational certificates, 
degrees and diplomas are still important and often required in order to secure good paying jobs. Monetary benefits and job security is crucial to members of Generation Z, but like uh, likelihood of not gaining employment without higher education certification remains high. Fortunately, social media has been advantages for this group. They are using uh, social media. Uh, majority of Generation Z using uh, social media. Generation Z has grown up in the social networking environment, so company managers and owners create platforms that enable them to easily find potential employees with the exact skills and talent they are looking for, making jobs and professional connections more available than before. So digitalization is very important for all of us. The study will be carried out with a quantitative method using a correlational research design. Participants in the survey will be employees of different companies operating in the E-trade industries in Istanbul, Turkey. Data will be collected from collected from respondents by using the conveyance sampling method by contact contacting uh, contacting human resource managers of the above mentioned firm. In today's rapidly cha changing social, political, and financial crisis, and post crisis context, and in a business environment where uncertainty is increasing, the importance of digitalization has become a popular topic because of its positive effect on employees and organizational productivity. Uh, yeah. The digitalization is having a substantial impact on the organization and society. Thank you so much.